everybody, it's Jeremy here and I'm ocean bound. Man, I feel like I'm in a different place. I'm in my old stomping grounds for a couple days in Nantucket, Massachusetts. I'm out here to hang out with some friends this weekend, but I came a day early because there's wind. And so I'm gonna meet up with my buddy Rick and we're gonna hit Cisco Beach. I think it's pretty windy. It feels windy in town. It's onshore with onshore waves. Could be a challenge to get out. I hope to be on a four meter. Rick's got two fours. He's got a duotone and a cloud. I don't really care, whatever he's not riding. And then it's gonna be straight up Axis stuff. Today's the day that I'm, I'm ripping into that. So I'm pretty stoked. I have only winged on Nantucket a couple years ago. I wanna say it was like two years ago. It was fun. It was cool there should be like four or five foot waves uh, probably shore pound hopefully there'll be some easy ways to get out and yeah we're just gonna cross our fingers and hope that the swell is nice to us so here I am back on Nantucket couldn't be more stoked let's go see what that beach looks like that's Cisco Brewers right there my happy place on Nantucket Here we are, the beach in Nantucket. Beautiful. Um, I'm gonna try going out right here. I wanna go out right where these kids are, but I don't wanna take them out one by one. Ding, 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 ding. It's pretty light. The wind is kind of ripping as it goes over the bluff, but you're standing out here, it's pretty light. We're just gonna go up and get two bigger wings just in case we need them. But I'm gonna give it a try. Short pound, always gets the heart racing. All right, here we go. Okay, so I might as well jump in here and fill you. So this particular part of Nantucket, Cisco Beach in the south side, has some different conditions that I'm used to. Uh, shore pound, yeah, I've experienced that before. I'm usually pretty lucky getting out there, but luck is a dice roll and you can lose that at any moment. Cisco has a pretty significant current. And Rick told me the locals like to ride much bigger boards out there. And I didn't want to think I needed a bigger board. So what did I do? Well, I was out there and Rick loves his Kalama boards. And so I was like, I'm going to take your 75 liter Kalama board out on first attempt. So I get myself set up on foil that was just small. So I'm pairing the Kalama, which is just a totally different shape and, and, and style than what I'm used to with the light onshore wind and a new wing, the current, onshore waves that somehow kind of bounce back and create more chop and a small coil just didn't go well. I have a rule that you don't dramatically change more than two things in a session. Well, this is absolutely everything new and in totally weird conditions too. All right, um, I took one try, it's light. The wind's supposed to come up, but I got this 5.5 cloud. Clouds have a heavy pull. So I'm about to try it again. I'm just kind of looking to see where I'm going to go out. So far, it is what it is. The board has a really slippery deck. So I don't know. Let's give it another try. So I first popped up a Reedon 5.2 meter. Stoked to try that. Didn't get so far. So I was still hoping to make this setup work with the board and the foil. So I just switched out the wing to a 5.5 meter cloud. They tend to have more power. No dice. I was quickly reminded how I'm, I, I kind of love and hate the clouds and especially how much the leashes for the clouds are total crap and way too long in my opinion. Alright, if first you don't succeed, you try, try again. So this is my second try. I just upgraded to a different board. I got a Dwight board. And then I put a bigger wing on. I don't even know what this is. 1050? I don't know. They have too much information on there, I feel like. So, um, yeah, so we're gonna try it again. I feel like this fog maybe killed the wind a little bit, but we'll see what we can do. I mean, that was, that gassed me, it gassed me. So here we go again. So now I'm stoked. I'm switching to the 75 liter whiteboard, which is much more familiar to me. And I wanted a bigger foil. At this point, I wasn't messing around and I got up on foil, I think twice. 
And I, you know, I was only riding around for a couple minutes, maybe like 15 minutes. I rode some bumps and, and whatnot. And then the wind just felt like it was starting to die. Came all the way to Nantucket. This is get worse. Woo. No, there's like no wind out there. Even Rick, he's just standing on his board. Not up on foil. What can you do? I have an easy way out here if I could only get a little more wind. Makes me feel better that Rick's not even up on foil. I hate, I hate this cloud leash. It's the worst. And I've said this before, the last time I rode a cloud, same thing. Multiple feet too long. Like an F1, the leash goes right to the wingtip. This goes like four feet beyond it when it's stretched. So when you flip the wing over, you have to pull in. And like, it's just a different story. Nice to be back on a whiteboard, but these Axis foils are really finicky. They just don't pump up on the foil the same way that my, my army foils do. That's pretty frustrating, especially out there. I don't know, I've tried five times. If I see Rick get up on foil, I'll go back out, but right now, it's, it's light. See, he was lucky. Same thing my first time. I got out, over, and then I got inside some breakers, and they just pushed me into shore. I'm gonna stay here and watch Rick for a little bit, but I'm gassed already. I've only been on foil like twice. All right. So I was out on Nantucket for a bachelor party weekend, and I was leaving on Sunday at like 2 p.m. I made my ferry reservations, basically getting into the car to head into town and get on a boat when Rick sends me a text and he's like, I'm at Cisco, I'm going out, the conditions are just like optimal. He's like, this is a once in a three week kind of condition thing. The rest of the bachelor party was going to Cisco too, so I called my ferry, moved my reservation on the ferry to like three or four hours later, headed to the beach. So here I am, beautiful day here, much better wind. Today I was not messing around. I went for the 105 liter Dwight board, a large axis foil, a big stable stab, and a six meter ocean rodeo Alula wing. It was like night and day. There's just such a big difference when you have power in your hands because the conditions were basically the same swell, the current was still there, the, the chop and bounce back, but this just with a little more wind made it so much more doable. The Ocean Rodeo wing was nice. I mean, it was a smooth wing. It was nice and light. The handles were decent. They were tight, but not as tight as like a wing rider. They are stiff and a little flat, which felt like it was, you know, a decent design choice. The Alula was slippery, so my method of flipping a wing over using the wing tip, you know, needed to be tweaked a little bit. I had to push down farther into the water, and I'm pretty sure the leash that was on it was not the stock Ocean Rodeo leash, and the slippery leading edge, kind of like with the funky stretch that that leash had, just made it like awkward to flip it. It's not a deal breaker, and, and the wing didn't really flip that much in general. All in all, I, I really did like that wing. Oh my God, that you did. And now I'm gonna be honest here about something. It's been about two years since I rode anything larger than the 75 liter board. I, I remember my progression, you know, was going from like a 112 liter foil sub, not made for winging, to a 95 Nash Hover, which is a great board still, and then to a, a 71 liter Dwight Special Foil Surf Machines board, all within about six months. And I thought smaller boards were the way to go, and everyone should probably progress to a point where they could be on and appreciate something that was smaller, you know, depending on your weight, because you felt more maneuverable and agile, and I just felt like that's what winging was. And once I started jumping, I wanted even smaller and lighter. I, I wanted to get those really light jumps, and I was just sure that the smaller and lighter board was the answer for doing that. So then I went to the sinker territory, and I got three different sinkers. I'm riding like a 75 liter Army FG board now, which kind of feels like it's more like a 67 liter, so I love that. And I thought going to a bigger board, you know, just after going through my progression, it just seems silly and like taking a step backwards, like putting your tail between your legs. Rick gave me the option of the 105 liter on the first day and I didn't take it. I was like, no way, because I was sure I could do 
you know, whatever I wanted to do on smaller boards. I was sure I had the skills. So after eating some Nantucket humble pie, and then riding the 105 liter a few days later and seeing how much of a difference it can make in these unique and kind of challenging conditions I wasn't used to, my thinking is now evolved and I'm releasing my mind from this older way of thinking that smaller is better. What it comes down to is there's just a lot of factors when it comes to choosing foil boards. And hey, I'll, I'll give Dwight props. I mean, that, that 105 liter board did not feel that bad. I wasn't jumping or anything, but for a board that was 30 liters bigger than anything I'd ridden in the past two years, I was surprised how good it felt. It really comes down to you, the rider, what works for you, what you like, how you like to ride. I know that's hard to figure out when you're like, you know, figuring out what your next gear is. So always try to demo from a shop or, or from your friends. Nantucket definitely humbled me this weekend on the water, but I was able to get a redemption session. I'm just stoked that it worked out. Good times out there, huh? Looks good. I like. I came over here Thursday just to do this, and it sucks so bad. It's really nice to have some. Uh... I hope to take another trip out there at least once before this year ends and you know probably in the fall. It's a beautiful island. I miss living out there and it's certainly like a great place to be if you like riding waves. And a shout out to Cisco Brewers, one of the most unique outdoor beer garden experiences that you'll get to. It's just such a sick place and it's worth the trip and a must stop location if you take a day trip out to the island. So that's all I got. If you want to see some more of my videos, please consider clicking that subscribe button. Drop a comment and say hi. Let me know if you've ever ridden on Nantucket or experienced weird conditions like that in your local spot. And with that, I hope you guys are all doing well out there. See you guys on the flip, and I wish you all an awesome day. Later!